This is Arlington Weekly News Update number 9, March 30th, 2020. As promised, we are providing the full text of Executive Order 55 issued by Governor Northam on Monday, March 30th, 2020. Temporary stay-at-home order due to novel coronavirus, COVID-19. To reinforce the Commonwealth's response to COVID-19 and in furtherance of Executive Orders 51 and 53, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by Article 5, Section 7 of the Constitution of Virginia by paragraphs 44 through 146.7 of the Code of Virginia, I order the following. 1. All individuals in Virginia shall remain at their place of residence except as provided below by this order and Executive Order 53. To the extent individuals use shared or outdoor spaces, whether on land or on water, they must at all times maintain social distancing of at least six feet from any other person, with the exception of family or household members or caretakers. Individuals may leave their residences for the purpose of a. Obtaining food, beverages, goods, or services as permitted in Executive Order 53. b. Seeking medical attention, essential social services, governmental services, assistance from law enforcement, or emergency services. c. Taking care of other individuals, animals, or visiting the home of a family member. d. Traveling required by court order or to facilitate child custody, visitation, or child care. E. Engaging in outdoor activity, including exercise, provided individuals comply with social distancing requirements. F. Traveling to and from one's residence, place of worship, or work. G. Traveling to and from an educational institution. H. Volunteering with organizations that provide charitable or social services. And I. Leaving one's residence due to a reasonable fear for health or safety at the direction of law enforcement or at the direction of another government agency. 2. All public and private in-person gatherings of more than 10 individuals are prohibited. This includes parties, celebrations, religious or other social events, whether they occur indoor or outdoor. This restriction does not apply a. to the operation of businesses not required to close to the public under Executive Order 53 or b. to the gathering of family members living in the same residence. 3. Institutions of higher education shall cease all in-person classes and instruction and cancel all gatherings of more than 10 individuals. For purposes of facilitating remote learning, performing critical research, or performing essential functions, institutions of higher education may continue to operate, provided that social distancing requirements are maintained. 4. Effective April 1, 2020, at 11.59 p.m., Cessation of all reservations for overnight stays of less than 14 nights at all privately owned campgrounds, as defined in paragraph 35.1-1 of the Code of Virginia. 5. Closure of all public beaches, as defined in paragraph 10.1-705 of the Code of Virginia, for all activity except exercising and fishing. Social distancing requirements must be followed. 6. All relevant state agencies shall continue to work with all housing partners to execute strategies to protect the health, safety, and well-being of Virginians experiencing homelessness during this pandemic and to assist Virginians in avoiding evictions or foreclosures. 7. As provided in Executive Order 53, nothing in this order shall limit a. the provision of health care or medical services, b. access to essential services for low-income residents such as food banks, c. the operations of the media, d. law enforcement agencies, or e. the operation of government.
Violations of paragraphs 2, 3, 4, and 5 of this order shall be a Class 1 misdemeanor pursuant to paragraphs 44-14617 of the Code of Virginia. Effective date of this executive order. This executive order shall be effective March 30, 2020. An amends amended order of the Governor and State Health Commissioner Declaration of Public Health Emergency Order of Public Health Emergency 1 and Executive Order 53 and shall remain in full force and in effect until June 10, 2020 unless amended or rescinded by further executive order. That ends the text. Accordingly, our out-and-about reporting will be somewhat limited for the next few weeks. However, this morning was spent exploring South Arlington, specifically the Crystal City area. What we saw was construction, construction, and more construction. I was fortunate enough to have a chat with one of the workers, and he explained that construction is considered to be an essential service. Certainly certain projects, once started, must be finished for the sake of safety. When I asked him to consider the difference between the current pandemic and the polio epidemic of 70 years ago, he acknowledged that the effects on the polio survivors were longer lasting, lingering even up to the present day. He summed up the current pandemic rather neatly and with a bit of humor, with the thought that five years from now, we might be seeing ads offering legal representation for people suffering from the ill effects of hand sanitizers. Elsewhere in South Arlington, even parking at Aurora Hills Library is discouraged, and the library itself is closed. P.S. Still no toilet paper at the Harris Teeter at Columbia Pike and South George Mason Drive. That's enough for update number nine. Be well, be safe.